Pretty amazing, right? Connecting your Android phone to your TV, completely free, no need to download anything on your phone. Everything is just built into it and it's amazing. You can even use your camera if you want to. So let me just open up a camera and uh, let's just say I wanna take a photo of my computer. Click on the computer and let me just open it up so you can actually see how amazing this is. Uh, let me zoom in and it will auto and the zoom will work on the TV. It is just amazing. You can do tons on this. You can even watch videos, listen to music. You can even use your Instagram if you want to. So let me just open up the Instagram so you can see my profile. Tons of great content on my uh, Instagram, by the way. Really amazing. Took a look at this photo, by the way. Let me just open it up and you can actually zoom in as well. So let me just zoom in and see how it works. Amazing. Pretty awesome, right? So let's just let's just connect your phone to your TV. Let's do this. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. In this step-by-step -step guide, I'm gonna teach you how you can connect your Android phone, any Android phone by the way, to your TV. Completely free, no need to download anything on your Android phone and it doesn't matter what TV you have and it does not matter what Android phone you have. This will work with any Android smartphone that you have. It's pretty simple, so let's just dive right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your Android phone is really simple. As I said before, unlock your phone and the very first thing you wanna do on your Android phone is to make sure it is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Let me just tone down the brightness just a tiny bit. Okay, so go to the settings. All right, so once you're inside the settings, you have a couple options. The first one is gonna be your home Wi-Fi. It's free, it's homey, and you don't have to worry about mobile data or credits or anything like that. But let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you could always go back to the you could always go back to the settings and you can always use your portable hotspot. But be careful, it's not free. It might cost you credit, and depending on where you live, this will cost you mobile data. Be careful with the mobile mobile hotspot. I would not recommend it. Just use your hotspot, just use your home Wi-Fi. But in this video, I'll show you both ways on how you can use Wi-Fi or portable hotspot from your phone to connect your phone to your TV. Just for the sake of this video, I'll make sure my phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi and that is pretty much all you have to do on your smartphone. That's pretty much all you have to do. Now let's jump back to the TV and let's do this. All right, so as I said before, just like we did on the smartphone, we have to do the exact same thing on your TV. It doesn't matter what TV you have, by the way. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do on your TV is go to your settings page on your TV. Go down to the general settings. Now inside the general settings, you have the network settings. Really simple, really easy. So open the network settings. And if you have done this before, just click on the network status. That will automatically check the status of your network on your TV. So, but if you're doing this for the first time, just like me, go to your network settings page. Now inside the network settings, click on the wireless. If you wanna use the wired, you could, you can, but I would recommend use the wireless. Just click on wireless, select your network. Now here is where it gets interesting. As I said before, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you could always use your mobile hotspot. So in this case, I'll just show you how, how it works. In this case, I'll just show you how it works. So let me just go to the settings. As I said before, if you don't want to use your hot, if you don't, if you don't want to use your Wi-Fi, just turn off the Wi-Fi and go back to the portable hotspot settings. Turn on the portable hotspot, and as you can see, it is called, it is called bra, bra. Why are you up in my jam, bro? <laughs> okay, it's enabled right now. So let me just scan it again on the TV. Let's see if it's available. And right there, as you can see, that is my home Wi-Fi, and right below it is my hotspot. If you wanna use the hotspot, you can, but just be careful, it might cost you credit. That is my hotspot, but not, I'm not gonna use it. I'll just make sure my TV is connected to my home Wi-Fi. Click on your home Wi-Fi, enter the password, and there you go. We are connected. That's pretty much all you have to do on your TV. Click OK, and go back to the main menu. And that is pretty much all you have to do and that is pretty much all you have to do on your TV. All right, so now, all right, so now, on your Android phone, go to your settings page. Now, inside the settings page, this might look different, by the way, so coming down below, I will definitely help you out in this, okay? All right, so inside the phone settings, you wanna go to your connection and sharing settings. Now, inside the connection and sharing settings, you have a couple of options. You have cast option for the Chromecast, and if you go just a tiny bit down, you will see a wireless display setting, so. 
click on wireless display so click enable and it should automatically detect your TV that is running in the background so in this case that is my Samsung 8 series 55 so just click on it and might ask you for the permission so just let's wait for it and on your TV you can see it is asking for permission so use your remote control to click allow and as you can see it is connecting to my Redmi Note 10 in this case in this case this is my Redmi phone and we are connected by the way <laughs> whoa whoa we are connected pretty awesome right it's pretty simple let me just turn on the brightness can I do that well looks pretty amazing now it's lag free there's no lag it's completely free and as I said before you can do tons with this you can even use your camera on your Android phone if you want to so let me just use my Android phone and show you exactly how it looks let me zoom in zoom in take a photo off my computer open up the photo and uh, wait for it it's laggy I'm sorry about that and you can actually zoom in on a photo and you can see it, it is working on my TV it's pretty amazing I don't have any games at the moment on my Android phone but it's pretty simple and if you want to stop this really simple as well go back to your uh, go back to the connection and sharing settings go to the dis wireless display again and just click on the display option and disable option that's pretty much all you have to do and if you want to do this again just click on the enable the wireless display it should automatically scan the TV and just click on your TV and it should automatically connect your Android phone to your TV as you can see it is working in the background really simple really easy and we are connected it is amazing how quick how awesome this is it is amazing how awesome this is it's just great it's awesome like the video if, the, if you find this video helpful be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one peace out well I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked the video by the way let me know why do you want to mirror your Android phone to TV in the comment section below and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below I will definitely definitely get back to you that's pretty much it for the video I'm Riz be sure to subscribe like comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one peace out